the Su-57. The first Russian proposal for a fifth-generation fighter was outlined in 1979 during the height of the Cold War. This initial task was met by Sukhoi's Su-47 and Mikoyan's MiG-1.44. Before each fighter could reach manufacturing stage, the Soviet Union collapsed alongside tensions between the East and the West. However, in 2001, Russia set out a new program for a fifth-generation fighter called the PAK-FA. This time, Mikoyan proposed that the three Russian aviation giants, Sukhoi, Mikoyan and Yakolev, work together to build the next generation of Russian jets to reduce financial risk. This proposal was shunned by Sukhoi, who pressed on with developing their prototype, the T-50. Mikoyan went on to submit the E-721, which was smaller and more affordable than the Sukhoi competition. In April 2002, the Russian Defence Ministry selected Sukhoi's 250 to enter the next stages of development, when the aircraft design was officially approved. The first prototype of the T-50 flew in March 2011, but both the uncertainty and mystery of the project would continue to add doubts to the Russian fifth generation project. Russia teamed up with India in order to share the financial burden of the project, but in 2018, the Indian government parted ways with the fifth generation programme leaving the Russians to fund the ambitious project themselves. The Russian Ministry of Defence continued to trial the now officially named Su-57 with reports of prototypes crashing and experiencing numerous setbacks. In 2019, the Su-57 was controversially combat tested over Syria where it conducted air-to-ground missions. The trials were reportedly a success, paving the way for the felon to enter active service. On the 25th of December 2020, the Russian Defence Ministry publicly announced the Su-57's introduction as Russia's first serial multifunctional fifth-generation fighter. The Su-57 was now the second fifth-generation jet to be in active service, second to the F-22. Despite having less advanced stealth characteristics than its American rival, the Su-57 reportedly exceeds the Raptor in thrust vectoring performance by being able to thrust vector in three rotational axes, pitch, yaw and roll which could prove to allow the felon to outmaneuver the American fighter if they were ever to face off against each other. This performance is thanks to the felon's two AL41F1 augmented turbofan engines that can produce 33,000 pound foot of thrust each. These power plants allowed the felon to reach speeds of Mach 2 and the ability to supercruise. The Su-57 is a notably large airframe with a length of 65 feet 11 inches and a wingspan of 46 feet and 3 inches. This large airframe was purpose-built to allow the Russian fighter to be a multi-role aircraft. Unlike the Raptor, the Felon was purpose-built to carry both air-to-air, air-to-surface and anti-ship ordnance. The Su-57 was designed with six internal hardpoints and a further six external hardpoints which could be equipped with a range of weapons alongside its single 30mm cannon. A reported 13 felons are currently being operated by the Russian Air Force, with more to enter service in the near future. The true capabilities of this airframe are still shrouded in mystery, but as more felons enter service, their performance as a fifth generation fighter will become more apparent. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and comment which aircraft you'd like to see in the next one.